What is going on, YouTube? We are back. I am Crimson, and we are going to continue our Mass Effect playthrough. Uh, last time, we finished up Eden Prime, so we just got just got started. Um, and uh, then we talked to Captain Anderson, and that's about right where we left off. So, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in. This game's so good. Oh man, alrighty. Yeah, we just got just got out of the infirmary. Hey, Commander. Ashley, what's going on? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Um, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. All right. So yeah, last time we decided we were going to be nice to the crew and be renegade in everything else. That was the plan because that should give us mostly renegade stuff and that's what we want to go. So, nice to everyone. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. You helped. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Glad to have you. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. See, that gives us Paragon. But, <clears throat> not a big deal. It's only a little bit here and there from the... I'm talking to people. And I'd rather be, uh... Like, nice to the crew. Because I haven't decided, like, anything what I want to do yet, so... Let's talk to Dr. Yes, Chocolates. Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Fair enough. Captain Anderson? What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we're trying to be. Kate Nalenko. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Oh, that's weird. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Jeez. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Oh, well, that's good. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. This is Caden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, okay. I guess you don't want to talk to me. That's fine. That's okay. Not everyone that has to talk, Aiden. Upstairs? Navigator. Glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, XP. This just takes us 
back, right? And then this is the hollow deck. Okay. Up to the bridge. Good timing, Commander. I was just nice. about to bring us into the Citadel. All right. That taxpayer money at work. Into the Citadel. These jumps are always sick. So good. Seeing that for the first time as a kid. The Ascension. It's nuts. The ship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. So awesome. The Normandy looks so good. It looks so good. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Oh. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. Damn. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. I cannot stand Udina. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're blind! I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Oh, I got the That's job Saren's done. Fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Whatever. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, important locations are marked on your map. Press M to access it. Boom. This is where we are. This little X, Avena. Oh, okay. Consort chambers, C sec. Okay. Follow the pulsing arrow. Okay. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> well, uh, didn't mean to get the guns out, but... You know? Oh, easy decryption. Boom. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argus Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do you want to send in a recon team? Okay. A little journal. A little journal action. A little info. Let's see what's up this way. 
This is another, um... Ah. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. All right, Mr. Zeltan. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Consort? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I don't. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Wow. Well, that's pretty bad. Where can I find the Sasari consort? That's pretty bad. She is across the bridge from Okay, here. so we can go talk to the consort. Maybe about this? Good See what's day, going on? <laughs> I like their voice. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Genuine query. Your speech. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you Spot? bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Oh, poor Din. Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my I like people. I like the Elcor. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Your history? Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. Oh. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Dang. So they got here quick. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. They seem so nice. <laughs> like, j just genuinely nice. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate. Chastising here. rebuke. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Okay. Goodbye, Ambassador. Oh man, that's so good. Well. Such good info. You, I love it. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. There's so much lore in this game. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. So much lore. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Oh? Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. 
you humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> chastising rebuke, Din. Oh, he's always the chastising him. always been granted many concessions. Bolas' territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Oh man, the lore is so good! What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Um, the Volus. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Why would you say that? I'm I'm curious. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. What about your culture? Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. I wonder what they look like Since under the little suit. we're not physically suit. adept, we trade our services for protection. Okay, cool. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Oh, these little guys. They're so funny looking. Oh. Okay. That's some good lore. There's so much. It's everyone you can talk to, just so much good stuff. I love it. I love how much there is in the game. I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I was sick. Um... All the beginning of this last week. Um, so, I'm a little bit stuffy still, but we're getting over it. Still feel a lot better than I did. So, Allow me to be your guide. Um, let's talk to this lady. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Have we met? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Oh, okay. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Are you busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Oh, well, that's fair. I should okay. be going now. Have a pleasant day. Cool. Welcome to the Presidium. Um... We just gotta go this way. Use Citadel Rapid Transit to travel quickly between major locations. As you explore the Citadel, more locations will unlock. Presidium locations. Citadel Tower. Oh, we gotta go talk. We gotta go talk to the council. Oh, buddy. All right. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Guy. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Garrus is so good. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You, you don't like Saren? Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Damn. Alright, Garrus. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Maybe I do. 
Because they're jerks. Do a little look around quick. I don't think there's too much until we finish up our conversation with the council below. We can talk to this guy. No, I'm Commander. Oh. Commander. Guess not. Alright, yeah, I think we have to I think the thing we gotta do is talk to the the council. The hearing's already started. Come on. Let's get up there. Looking, looking the good. The attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. You that just lying. let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against uh, me. Why are you always lying? And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Oh, now we get pissed. Now we get pissed. That was you. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect? from a human you'll pay you can expect me to kill you the next time we meet your species needs to learn its place Shepard you're Damn. not ready to join the council you're not even ready to join the specters he has no right to say that that's not his decision Shepard's admission into the specters is not the purpose of this meeting this meeting has no purpose the humans are wasting your time counselor and mine you can't him. hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Yeah, be harsh. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, of course the petition not. to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Oh, this we'll get him. Oh, we'll get him. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we Jeez. control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. This is that book. Oh, I didn't look it up. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He Gotta was get our guy. He time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. That's my man. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I don't like this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. 
Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Okay. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. Investigate? Council and the Ambassador. Our Ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone That's pretty knows messed it's up. only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And That's I pretty agree. messed up. Um, we're too independent. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to. I shouldn't have said that. That was probably nice. Council, but it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. Oh well. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Why do we bother? Who cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. That's Take fair. this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. I think that would start a war, though, but yeah, I guess. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Well. I'm a... I'm a renegade. <laughs> Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Okay. Harkin? You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever Jesus. since. Jesus. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. They abandoned him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. <laughs> if the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been uh. fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Okay. The Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. And then... Spectres? I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone. Behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. If one goes too far. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Makes sense. How are they organized? What's their command structure like? 
There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Jeez. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Yes, it'd be good to be a, it'd be good to be a Spectre. <laughs> Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay. I think that's it. That's all the info. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything. So else. we can go to Harkin. We can go to Barlavan. We can also go do um, a side quest and talk to the lady. Huh. Right, does this guy talk to me now? Commander? No, he does not. That guy's up to some. What? Oh, no, I Rowan, what are you doing? Never mind. What are you doing? You touching those guys? Um, yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? You touching the keepers? The keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Then why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why the lies? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. <laughs> I don't even know who Ah, <laughs> I'm not worried about the authorities. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All right. I'll collect a data will automatically quest. upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long. And All right. Good luck with the scanning. Go scan the little guys, little green boys. Bam. There's one over here too. No, I haven't spoken to him before. This is the first time I've requested. That's two. Yeah, I'll wait. All right. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, there's another one. Joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bulls will be. Nice. Okay, yeah. I I want to do a bunch of the side quests, so we're gonna try, and maybe we'll go talk to the S or the consort first. Maybe that'll be a good good place to go. I guess I could have used the fast travel. Oh well. To the Presidium. The good elevators. I had a friend talking to me about this. Because uh, I told him I was playing this. The, the Legendary Edition for the first time. And he's like, you know what they didn't change about the first game? The goddamn elevators. Hey, that was a way faster though, so I guess they did kind of change it. The elevators used to take a Keep day going, and a half. Please do not disturb the keepers. Uh, sorry. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow There's another keeper over there. Um. You're not allowed in here. Whoa. This one believes it has the right to go freely to this area. 
Okay, let's scan this guy quick and let's go see what's going on over here. c -Sec's doing something with this guy. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Uh, what's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're pathetic. Let's investigate. Rules of per reasons for the permit? What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. That's fair. There's probably a lot of religions going on with all the different aliens and everything. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. You're pathetic. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. <laughs> I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Um... What are you doing? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. So no. The CSEC <laughs> officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Uh, get out of here. This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. If others wish to try, they are welcome to do so. Did it work? This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. You're breaking the, the law. The officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Oh, we don't have enough. I'm not buying him a permit. I'll be back. Okay. This one will continue to Yeah, we gotta get, we gotta get our uh our whatchamacallit up higher. Is this the uh oh this is to the wards. Okay. But I wanted to find the lady that we need to talk to, the consort. See second vanity. Okay. This is this. I think the consort's over here. Look at that Krogan. The Krogan are so good. They're easily some of my favorite. I've had my office rearranged five times. Keeper, yeah, I think this is the. Woo, baby, we got to level up. Okay, so we want to get this up. That's really good. Boom. Um, getting pistols up to get shotguns is good too, and. Unlock tactical armor, which gives us medium. Yeah, we want that too. Plus, adrenaline burst is really good because that gives us um, resets on uh, cooldowns. It was really good. So we're gonna get there, Caden. What you got? You got four points. He was going into electronics. And we should probably keep going in first aid too, but I don't think we're going to use Caden, but. Boom. He was going assault rifles. Nice. This is where we need to go. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? 
I need an appointment. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. Yeah, but I'm but Commander Shepard. But if you Shepherd. wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she them. mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. So it's a bunch of... bunch of... <laughs> I don't know. Bunch of bullcrap. <laughs> Uh, appointment? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Oh, we already but did that. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. So all of these My people come here? My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. <laughs> Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Three or four months, jeez. Three or four months. <laughs> Forget it. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. That was a wild move. Melina. Three to four months. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Oh. Yes, of course, Mr. He wants to talk anyways. I just got that look about me, I guess. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. <laughs> Where She'll do be I go? For you. Come on, Commander. With the alliance, my brother's a private back on earth. Good for him. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I keep getting my shotgun out. I keep thinking shift is is run because it's such a common button for games, and uh, yeah, that is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since you arrived here know. in our citadel. You checking up on me? I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Um... What is it? Hurry up. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but... He wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop what? spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. You just give me a hug? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Yeah, but I have other things to talk Please, to you about. Commander, I ask that you return to me only after... So I have to go do sessions. your chore before I can talk to you about what I need to talk to you about? Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, well, looks like I gotta go to chores or yeah, Cora's den. No matter what. That's understandable. 
I have to admit I'm a little nervous. Okay. I think we got all those. Is there another? Yeah, there is another keeper down here. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, there's a shopkeeper here? Okay. Oh, Barlavon. Oh, this is Barlavon. Well, we're here. Might as well talk to him. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. Correct. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Are you spying on me? I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need information? I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow. I am Lord, blunt. <laughs> and I do know something about Saren. It's the kind of person I am, so... <laughs> Start talking. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. Nothing What's is ever catch? free. <laughs> there is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. What a shock. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. <laughs> no matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details. Yeah, I wonder what it was. The Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Uh, where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Okay. Personal question? Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. This is legal? Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? <laughs> Probably Even not very good. If his were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Uh, <laughs> I don't buy it. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. The Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. That's so wild. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. 
All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Who is he? Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. That would make How sense. else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. But you're his agent? I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. Fair. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Oh, no. Tell me more about this. Yet somehow he never seems <clears throat> to upset the natural balance of What's power. it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological model. It's pretty nuts. Its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. Tell me about the Presidium. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. It's crazy how humans made it so fast into, like, this society. What are the words like? It makes sense why everyone's mad the at the humans. Heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay. I should go. We got some info. Goodbye, Commander. Lots of XP, too. Holy crap. Okay. Now where to? There a keeper over here? I think so. I think he's right over there. I can see his little legs. Oh, what are you doing back there? Caden! Come on! Don't be talking to that guy. You don't know him. Welcome don't be to talking to strangers. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, we already got this one. That's right. Oh, we kind of went all over then, huh? Uh, where's the fast travel? Oh no! Oh, there's one. I guess, yeah, we can go down to the wards, because that's where we have to go anyways. Or should we go to the C-Sec first? Oh, let's go to the wards. Just say we can talk to the Krogan. We can go down here and talk to Harkin. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Oh, it's so much faster. It used to take like like a solid two, three minutes for elevator load screens. So much better. He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is good. Oh. Thank you. Good little friend. Oh, they're having a little chat. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blocked... in here oh another little friend
What is this? Shops? Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes. Let me see what you have. I sure do. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Give Very me the supplies. Good I have. You will see. Do you standard items? All we have is buy separate. Um, for Shepard for right now, because he's the only one that we're going to use out of these. Uh, risk control license. Meta jail upgrade. Nice. I don't know what that license is for, but we're picking it up. These are expensive. Um, I can't use heavy armor. So. I don't know. Plus, like, they, these aren't. Oh, you get, like, no money. That shotgun's not better. I know. I think most of the stuff is not better than what I have. We'll keep the heavy armor just to have it, and we'll keep the grenade upgrades and stuff. Cool. Nothing we can buy. At least for right now. If we could use heavy armor, I'd buy it, but... Is that really... Wow! It's you! You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Who are you? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. A big fanboy? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. No. <laughs> Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. I have important stuff to do. I made him mad. That's not gonna come back to bite me. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. I have not. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What have you got? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Let's see these goods. Ooh. Dang. Okay, yeah, this is for like way later. Then? I'm guessing. It's a pistol, though. I wonder if that's better. Compare? 120. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wish I could buy that, but it's 17. This pistol's pretty good, though. Edge 2. Uh, heat sink capacity way better, accuracy is just about the same, and way more damage. Nice. Uh, equipment. Nice. New pistol. Can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Jeez. Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me. Oh, keep her. I'm sorry, man. I can't do it. But, what, what you... I guess I can't help with that at all. I was kind of wondering if I could, if I could just talk to them, but. Okay. Commander Shepard, excuse me, Commander I, don't, Shepard. I don't have time to talk to you. We'll talk later. I was heading down down to the wards. What the what the heck happened? Uh, 
There we go. We got we got we got confused. We went in a bunch of different circles. That's him. Oh what? God damn. I was just trying to come down here for a good time. We gotta talk to this guy too. Commander. What do you want? Problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. You're pathetic. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. <laughs> All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Get a grip. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. Yeah. I don't think it could hurt. That's why you put those points in. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. I know. Get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Ow. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zelta. Who's the guy we need to do anyway? Diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers. Acting like soldiers. Kill two birds with still one stone. Hell, heck Thanks, yeah. Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Heck yeah. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about it. Alright, let's talk to Harkin. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Where's Garrus? I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, man. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. Oh, goddamn. First human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. How do you know this? You said they covered all this up. How do you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Oh, man. We're wasting my time. One more chance. Tell me where Garrus is. Now. 
Okay, settle down. He went to speak to Dr. Michelle, over in the med clinic on the other side of the wards. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. This place is bumping. Quit blaming others. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Guy's got some issues to deal with. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Leaving off with Harkins, probably going to be a good spot to stop for the day. Alright, and I think that's going to do it for today. That's going to be a um, pretty good spot to stop. Um, we'll get back to it the next time. Uh, I should be back on schedule now that I'm not sick. So we should be pumping out um, probably one episode a week. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that uh, notification button to see when I put out videos. Have a good one.